Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of WHIT, also known as What Happened in Tech. The place where I let you guys what happened in the mobile device world. I'm Carlos Rivera with Wirefly, and let's get started. There were a lot of things going on this week, so this episode may be a little longer. And well, let's start with the LG G Watch R. At the beginning of the week, they just released like a little teaser trailer where they just showed, you know, the silhouette. And you could kind of make out the watch the display and all that stuff. But later on the week, they actually released some pictures where you can see the bezel all the way around that's actually aluminum. And it's a pretty good looking watch. And the display, it's all the 360 degrees. It does not have a black bar like the Moto 360. It's a really good competitor for the Moto 360. And well, we'll see how it goes. During this week, Sony also leaked out or kind of mistakenly leaked out a picture of their smartwatch and their compact tablet. They posted a picture on their Facebook page for a couple of seconds and then took it down, but you know how it goes on the internet. A second on the internet is like an hour or like a month on real time. And while well, they took pictures, everybody started sharing it on the internet and we got to see the Sony Smartwatch 3 and the Sony Xperia tablet, the compact version. Moving on to Apple, there's a lot of things going on with Apple. First of all, a manual got leaked out for some reason for the iPhone 6, where you can see the button layout and actually the event date where Apple is going to release their or announce their iPhone 6 and all their other products. But that was towards the beginning of the week. Towards the end of the week, Apple sent out their event invites. Apple actually released their press invites and we can see the upper part of the Apple logo, the date where it's going to be September 9th, 2014. And on the bottom, it says, wish we could say more doesn't really say much because I wish they would have said more but they always give you like a little clue or on the picture they give you a little clue but this time I don't really see anything in there no clues or anything so we'll just have to wait for the event and lastly on Apple news there was a battery recall for the iPhone 5 if you have an iPhone 5 and you have really bad battery life that means you probably got one of the faulty ones. They said at first it was only the iPhone 5s that were sold from September 2012 till like January of 2013. But just to be sure, go check out their website. They have the serial numbers there. So just check your phone, check the website, and you'll know if you have one of the faulty ones. And well, let's keep talking about smartwatches. Asus was also one of the companies that put out pictures to their smartwatch. It's called the Zen Watch, and it looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look like anything new or like they're bringing something new to the table. But like I said, as soon as someone gets it down with battery life, performance, and all that good stuff, that's the watch that everybody's gonna go with. So I guess that's Asus' take on a smartwatch. And well, let's keep talking about smartwatches. Samsung also revealed their Gear S which is a smartwatch that does not necessarily need a smartphone. You can put a SIM card in it and it will actually have 3G connection. You don't really need to connect it through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth with your phone. You can do everything by itself. I don't really see myself using a smartwatch to make calls, text messages and all that stuff. But I mean, some people may be into it. I don't know. And they also revealed the Gear Circle. It's like a modern look at a Bluetooth device. You can give it voice commands, you can make phone calls, you can do like all this great stuff with it. But like I said, I don't necessarily see myself using it. If you don't want to use it, you just put it down, put it around your neck. It's like a fashion accessory also. And overall, I don't see it as something like super innovative. And the last story I wanted to talk about this week, it's still about Samsung and is that Samsung is still releasing trailers for their Note 4. If you go check out their YouTube channel, they keep posting like trailers and trailers and trailers or just videos hinting that the Note 4 is coming, showing people in different situations on how they use the Note 4, how the Note 4 has changed their lives and like all this and that. It's not a big surprise it's coming up, but they just keep teasing everybody with trailers. But anyways, that was it for this week's episode of What Happened in Tech. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below on what you guys are most excited about. I'm really interested to see if you guys are looking for the iPhone or any iDevice or if you guys are looking for a Samsung device, a smartwatch, whatever you guys are looking for. That was it for me. I was Carlos with Wirefly and I will see you guys in the next video.